Okay, let's take one more step in our learning about tokens in Penpot. For this, we are going to use our beloved Nodes application, which we have been working hard on making extensive use of tokens. We can see that now we have two sets, one called global, which contains a bunch of color tokens. We also have certain dimension tokens, as you can see, with multiplication and scales, as we saw before, simple mathematical operation in tokens, which are very powerful, and other space in tokens. Uh, there are new things to explore here. What's happening here, uh, well, the value inside this token has lost its reference. So in this case, the value, it's missing an operator for the mathematical operation. In this case, uh, a multiplication thing. As soon as we fix that, it becomes correct, the issue is resolved. All right, I'm going to narrow the sidebar again because here in our uh, light theme, as you can see, I have created another series of conventions to work with all the tokens used in my application, in my design. Down here, in Tools, we can import and export in JSON format. Let's export the file, download it, and go to our code editor and check out the JSON file. We see that here we have the global set with all the colors and tokens created, and here is the light, which use many fewer tokens, and most of them are references okay you can edit it from here if i need and when to uh, when you import it back into penpot it will be override the current uh, settings for example the light theme let's copy this and if we paste it afterwards and call it dark save the file and now import it and select our token json file that we edited in our code editor and here the dark theme appears don't worry about those missing references it is because the global styles are not selected okay it's worth noting that penpot follows a format currently undergoing standard standardization as uh, you know the design tokens community group is proposed although it still in the standardization process it will likely become a standard zone so okay let's activate the dark theme and as you can see penpot detect the tokens that already exist and overwrote them i haven't lost anything at all it has created the new dark set with the tokens i preserve in the json file so now simply if i go and edit the background token changing the reference from the white to black we see that all elements that had the token assigned update accordingly if i change the default foreground from black to white the same happens and finally if i change the default accent which currently use a purple 300 very nice change it to a blue 500 okay in this way super easily and simply in just a few clicks i've managed to create both a light theme and dark theme directly editing a json file